Okay, you think you're something, huh? Ow! Oh, oh god, he just sliced my head off. Hello, everyone. Guys, welcome back. Girls, gals, men, boys, foxes, and falcos. It is time, once again, to hop right back into Star Fox Adventures. Guys, last episode, we made our way to the next Krizoa Spirit. We gained it after doing a little test of strength, returned to the Krizoa Palace, and then made our way to Dragon Rock. Probably the most in-depth or such dungeon of the bunch. We ended up saving a handful of dinosaurs and making our way to Dracor, who used to be the main enemy and the main antagonist of Dinosaur Planet, who sadly met the fate of just being made a boss fight. After taking him down, we got the final spell stone, and in this episode, we're returning it to the Ocean Force Point Temple, while also grabbing the final two cheat tokens, the next Krizoa Spirit, and finally getting 100%. After that, I mean, all that's left is the final uh, boss and the final Krizoa Spirit. So we do not have much left. Only about two more episodes. So let's make the most of it. And without further ado, future editor Brian, stab me with the step. You know what? No. Stab me with four staffs. Now. You know, there's not I mean we can't stab ourselves many more times, so we gotta make the most of the staff stabs. Actually, before I hop straight into this, this is actually going to be the last time we actually really fly the R-Wing, because we pretty much did everything else needed. So, I'm gonna quickly check over the other levels to make sure that we get all ten rings, because uh, this is the last opportunity that we're gonna be able to do that. So, I'm gonna quickly check each level, and I'll be back. Okay, so Dark Ice Mines, we're missing the ten uh, rings, so here, here we are. We're gonna grab the ten rings from this one and move on. We're doing good. There we go. There we go. Yes, I think that's all ten. Was that 10? Was that 10? Was that 10? Hell yeah! Alright, I just checked it over and that was the last 10 rings that we needed to grab. So everything, we've grabbed all 10 rings from every single of the levels. We don't need to do it. It's not, it's not needed for 100%. It's just something I like doing because I like having that full completion look. Anyway, moving on. General Scales cannot harm any dinosaurs ever again. You stopped his evil mutant army plan. This is the final spell zone, Fox. You need to get it back to the Ocean Force Point as quickly as possible. With this seal closed, Dinosaur Planet will be saved. Pepper out! Alright! Now again, guys, you've seen this a thousand times. I will see you as soon as we get back to the planet. So, BRB. Alright! Our final time landing on Dinosaur Planet. I'm sad. Oh, it looks beautiful. I love the rain. Well, guys, here we are. Look at that. Let's just enjoy this for a minute. Oh, it's so pretty. And look at that. Two gates. All right, guys. Let's make our way back to Cape Claw, which is this way, right? Oh. So that shows us how to actually get back in here, which I I thought we messed up that cutscene originally, but luckily we didn't. Guys, we are back at Cape Claw for one final time. Ow, buzz off, nobody cares. Now, this time things are a tad different. If you look, they've boarded up the entrance to Krizoa Pal or Krizoa Palace, the Ocean Force Point. Luckily, uh, this doorway that we passed, which I mentioned before that we were gonna come back to, we can now enter into. And here it is. Okay, so obviously fire's not gonna work. Get some- Ow! Would you stop poking- There you go. Get out of here, jerk off. Hey, now I don't know where the sharp claw went that was operating this thing, but he gone. So, now with this, we can actually do a few things. First thing, which I believe is there. 
It's right straight in front of us. We need to hit that big rock out in the distance. Is it that rock? Ah, there it is. Okay, I think we only shoot it once. So with that one down, let's go ahead and open the way back up there. Oh, there's that music, baby. Okay, so there should be one more, I think, there. Ah, okay. Now, with all three of those taken out, we're going to go with them one by one. So, this is the final three major things we're going to grab from this area. Oh, no, I remember first finding this when I did the playthrough. I was so excited. 20 scarabs. I'll give you a cheat token. Have a cheat token, buddy. Or I want the cheat token. Give me the token. Have the scarab. We'll trade. Bug for coin. Thank you. Boom. All right. One cheat token left, which we are about to grab. And once we get that cheat token, 100% is finally done. Now, I will say this just to fair warn you. This is your only... After you do Dragon Rock, this portion of time, when you... Between getting the Spellstone and... Getting the final cruiser with spirit is your only opportunity to do the rest of the 100% and getting any extra abilities or items. If you don't do it now, you get soft locked out of re exploring the planet. So just keep that in mind. Powered up! Our final upgrade the staff energy meter. It has increased to the maximum amount. And there we go. So our magic meter is now fully increased to its max capacity. And we are also rocking max health. So. We are pretty much fully decked out now. There's nothing more to really deal with or grab. In fact, we even have all the fuel cells that we really need for the rest of the game. So we are pretty much done. It's just that last cheat token. All right, we're entering in. The force point. I'm gonna miss this place. I'm already getting sad thinking about it. All right, here we go. One more trial left ahead of us. Let's do this, man. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we actually do this again. Yep. Tricky. No, what are you doing? Get your butt over here. Okay. Stay. Just like last time. Don't forget, everything is the opposite. So. Far right. Then one in. Then far right. All the way to the left and go one, two, all the way to the right and go one then one then two then all the way to the end and bada boom baby hey don't worry about me so this is also where the final cheat token is so using the power of magic we open this up there it is the final one Oh, let it sink in, guys. This is 100% right here. We finally have it. Oh, I don't have enough scarabs. Oh, no. Okay, I went and grabbed scarabs. So now, here it is. Show me 20 scarabs, and I'll give you a cheat token. All right, Fox. Let's get our last cheat token. 100% completion, baby. You have collected the final cheat token. Now take it to the maze. There it is! 100% is done! Beautiful. Well, guys, that's that! Now it's time to move to the Ocean Force Point and get it done. And away we go. I'm sad. I don't want to see this game go. All right, Ocean Force Point Temple. You and me and Tricky, let's do this. Where did we go again? This way. This way! Right, because the water level rised. Right, right, right. I thought we were falling to our death for a minute. That threw my eye. That threw me off. Okay, so everything is slightly different. Oh, oh. Ow, you jerk off. Okay, you think you're something, huh? Ow, oh, oh, God. He just sliced my head off. Okay, there we go. Here we are. So, things are definitely a little different. Uh, everything is slightly changed. Oh, uh, man. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Every time I get to the end of this game... And every time I play through it, I'm so happy. This is just, this is my shtick, man. This is my game. I love this game. I love it, the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it plays. I love this game with a freaking passion. All right, boom. Wah! Click it. That raised the water level, right? Yes. Oh, look at that water effect. God bless America. 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, you know what? No. No, I want Tricky to shine for a minute. Burn his ass. Get out of here. Freaking. Oh, this shit gets freaking calm to the plex. Okay. Click. So, each of those has a specific color, and there's also going to be four specific colored flames, and we have to put those out in adjacent order. So, like, we have to put the blue fire out with the blue water kind of stuff. Blue crusoe, whatever you want to call it. Now, we have three minutes. We get a little more time with this one. Come on, come on. Okay. So, the strat that I usually go for is I do one at a time. Moron! Mother fracker! Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get it that time. What?! Crap! Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're just gonna switch to the other side and do the other ones instead. Now. There it is. Come on, come on! No! Okay. That one's done. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I think I missed. Dang it! Come on! No, you freaking Krizoa slow poke statue! Now! Please. I'm begging you, man. Come on! No! Oh my god, we only have 30 seconds. I'm only gonna get maybe like two more shots out of this. Come on. Yes! Oh god. Woo! Tricky bastard. You tricky bastard. That was close, but we got it. Okay, next puzzle. Wait for me. I'm waiting for you, Tricky. I ain't gonna go anywhere without you. I think it's Bam. Then Bam. Then a bam. Then a bam. Then another a wham. Then another kazam. And then we end it off with a big old fat juicy wabala bam. Boom! There we go. And now the pathway to the final spot for the resting place of the spellstone is open. Which is right here. This is it. Our final walk. Our final our final march. So there is a mod called Amethyst Edition of this game, which allows you to play as Crystal, which I've been really considering coming back and playing uh, that mod, or at least showcasing it on the channel, because I think it would be fun. All right, here we go. Here we go, boys. This is it. Oh. Take one last look. All right. Ain't no time waiting. We've got a planet to save, boys and girls. If I can find the spellstone. There it is. And the planet is now pulling itself back together. Yeah! We did it, Fox! Guys, guys, are you seeing this? Mission complete! What's going on? We've placed all the spell stones. There must be more to it, Fox! Since you left Walt City, I've been studying your mission, and I've noticed there's something hidden at the top of that huge temple. It looks like a Krizoa shrine entrance. Oh, yeah, I could have told you that. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Let's get back to the hollow. So there's still a little more to do, and we're actually making our way back to the walled city. So this is actually... 
Hey, Fox, check out Plip. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is actually it. Like, once we get leave this one last time to head to Wall City, there is no more going back. There is no more exploring the planet. So, this is it. Like, this is the end. Fox, something is not right. The Walled City has not yet returned to the planet. My husband is still stuck up there. You did return all of the spell stones. Of course, but wait. The spirits, they must have something to do with it. You're right. Without all the spirits, the magic cannot be channeled back into the planet. Your boss said to return to the Walled City. There must be a shrine we've yet to find. Oh yeah, you told me that there was a... Th whatever. Tricky will make a fine king. Thank you again, Fox. Of course. Well, like they said, we will be making our way to the Walled City. That is the final uh, heave to the end. So, with this being towards the very end, uh, leaving for Walled City effectively means that we lock ourselves into endgame. So, it's time that we actually do the 100%. Or, well, getting the 100% rewards. Which requires us finally going to... The Game Well Maze. So let's do it. Now this, I'm going to largely leave unedited and uncut because, well, um, if I cut it all out right to when I get to the end, then the episode will be over. And, you know, I want to kind of use as much time as I can since we're pretty much at the end. But point is, that's what we're trying to get to with them four torches. And this is an entire maze that we have to travel. So let's get started. Now, here we are. We're at a time where I actually can commentate to you guys. Uh, I remember in the original playthrough for this, I actually messed up the 100% reward, and I accidentally forgot to do this before completing the final boss. So I actually had to reset my save file and go back. It was a whole nightmare. But luckily this time, I'm more prepared, and I was ready for it. Honestly, I would love to see this game return. Oh, we did not just... Oh, I thought for a minute I solved it already. I was about to be like, dude, if I just figured out how to get to the end already... Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Here we are. This is it. Alright, so, here's the thing. Every cheat token in the game has something attached to it. Now, if you went and you brought all the cheat tokens here, or if you only got one or two cheat tokens and brought them in and gave them to the well, you would unlock their adjacent rewards. Now, giving all of the cheat tokens doesn't give you anything. It's the fact that each cheat token has something to unlock associated with it. So, let's start with number one. Cheat activated. So, the cheat activated means that we've unlocked something. Now, there are multiple things we could have unlocked, which we'll go through that uh, later. Now, second one. Cheat activated. Another cheat, which I'll walk you through the rewards when we get uh, finished with this. There's a third cheat. The well looks into your future. Fox, I can see you have matured into a strong leader. I am always there with you. Never give up. Trust your instincts, my son. Fucking James coming back from the dead, baby! <laughs> Here we go. The well looks into your future. A friend who has left still cares about you. The bond of your friendship still remains. He will soon appear before you. And you should accept him with all your heart. Now that will be important for the final episode in Endgame. Which I don't want to spoil it if you guys have never seen this. Um, so... Uh, which I don't know if you have whatever point is I'll explain more about that in the final episode next cheat token The well looks into your future His life force is strong his existence is like a virus. I can hear his breath in every corner of space He will not only use the evil heart of others, but it can also corrupt those that are good Now that is in reference to the final boss in the game Um, which at this point I will spoil I don't care. Well, actually, you know what the friend that um is like, you know uh, The friend that still cares about us is actually Falco. So he will come back towards the end of the game uh, That's what that is the person that it's speaking about is Andros now It's interesting because saying that quote that he can also corrupt those that are also good Maybe a slight reference to Pigma portraying the original team like possibly Pigma was good at a time Nobody knows, uh, but that is just a really cool detail. All right, only two more left. Cheat activated. So that's our final cheat, and one more. Now, this one in particular is very interesting, and we'll talk more about why in just a second. The well looks into your future. 
There is sorrow ahead. A close friend does not have much time left. It will be hard to accept, but you will grow. Now, that in particular, nobody really understands. So, from my understanding, that has never been truly explained, which I will, I'm going to check really quick and see if somebody has come up with an explanation, because it's been a while since I've actually looked into this. Okay, so according to the um, Arwingpedia, uh, here it is. So, there is sorrow ahead, a close friend has not much time left, it will be hard to accept, but you will grow. Uh, this one is under a lot of speculation. Common beliefs include peppy hair because he's becoming old or even uh, is or even is clairvoyant of his sacrifice in the sequel game, Starbucks Assault, and or Prince Tricky because they part ways at the end of the game. Another belief is that the message refers to Rare and Nintendo parting the company. So, as far as my personal belief, the... Uh, the idea that it's talking about Tricky and Fox does make a lot of sense because they do part ways and saying that you, that you will grow makes sense as well. Especially Tricky who does grow up to become the king in Starbucks Assault. Referencing Peppy Hair, that also is very possible since, you know, Peppy Hair does eventually almost sacrifice himself in the end of Assault, but he doesn't die. Um, but he does part ways with the team, but I don't know. It kind of makes sense. It kind of doesn't. It's a little, little eh. Um, now that being said, with all those cheat tokens done and everything is unlocked, as far as what we gain, um, the cheats are as follows. So first one is the staff credits become available in the options menu. The music test is in the audio menu. Uh, you also get the Soria language setting, which allows you, um, now this isn't 100% like set in stone. This is kind of half and half depending on the version you get. So, there, it's possible you might either A, unlock the Soria language setting, which changes everyone to talk, like, the subtitles change to Sorian, or it's a message about a destiny, which it's not 100%, I have not seen that one yet, I'm gonna see if I can find it. You unlock Senpai mode, which makes everything black and white, and that's kind of it. So, the final destiny one, depending on the version you get, which it looks like the version I'm playing gives me the, uh, Soria language, um, the other message you can get is actually saying, you are meant to be together. It was your destiny. Together as one, you will bring peace. This is probably a reference to Fox and Crystal becoming together at the end of the game and their future adventures together, keeping peace in the Lilac systems. Um, however, this does, is not through all versions. So, again, just another reason why Command's whole shtick between the two splitting is absolutely stupid. The, the, the well spoke the future. <laughs> But that is pretty much it. That is 100%. I know this uh, this end portion kind of is uh, kind of chill. It's just explaining a lot of what the end is. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we've unlocked all the cheats, got all the messages, and I got to break down a few things for you, a cool little bits of detail, stuff like that. And with that being said, I know this is definitely one of a short, definitely one of the shorter episodes. But you know what? Sometimes that happens, and I would rather have an episode where we were able to really pour some time into investigating and talking about the story and 100 percent rather than just jumping head first into the ending so next episode is the final episode of this game we will finally be taking on and beating the final boss while gaining the final two crusoe spirits and investigating the wall city one more time as well as only hanging out with tricky one more time oh before i go though there's one more thing i'd like to do that i have not gotten to do in this game yet so it. the ball item lets you play with Tricky. So Tricky will run off, laugh, have a grand old time, he'll grab it, and he'll bring it right back to you. So you guys get to play freaking fetch. Is that not freaking adorable? Go get it. Now playing, which I don't want to keep doing it because his color does change, which is really cool. So Tricky's color will change over time the more you play with the ball, which I don't want to keep doing because he will eventually change. Oh, look at, look, look at, he's like, oh, he's so freaking cute. I love him. So uh, I'm going to let that disappear. But yeah, so playing with him enough will actually change his color in game, which I'll represent right now all the different colors that he can change into. And with that being said, there's one more cool little detail that I have yet to finally show off. So if you're an asshole and you... <laughs> he freaking flames you if you hit him enough. <laughs> okay, here, Tricky. I, I'm sorry. Can I? Here, let me, let me, let me. Be, see, you can't even play with him when you piss him off. Hold on. I'm gonna feed you. I'm sorry. This is my apology. I love you, Tricky. I'm so gonna get a dog and name him after you. Oh my god. 
anyway, so there's just some really cute details of Tricky. He gets pissed, he'll flame you if you're an asshole to him, which is really cool that you can actually do that, because in most games, your companion just tags along, no matter how annoying you are, you can't do anything. So that little bit just gives him that just little bit of personality. And with all that being said, we have finally gotten 100% in the game, returned all the spell stones, I believe, which I did not get to show this either, but... As you can see, we have all the maps, and according, and Peppy actually, or General Pepper, General Pepper will actually show your entire collection as well as your time. So we spent almost 10 hours in total, all the spell stones, max magic, max lives, and this is every single required item in the game. Everything that, uh, unleash a blast of energy, shoot down baddies, interact with the environment, uh, you'll need to hit them once they'll smash. Like, oh my god, this is awesome. And that's pretty much it, my guys. There is, um, nothing more to it, really. And, uh, yeah. We have all the items in the game. The whole area has been explored. We have the final spell stone already returned. And all that's left is to leave, go to Wall City, and get the last of Crusoe Spirits and beat the game. So, this is our last time we'll actually see Dinosaur Planet. At least for now. So, with that being said, I'm actually going to end this episode here. We did a lot. It's a bit short, but we got a lot packed into one tiny episode. So without further ado, this is where I'm going to sign off. Guys, if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment. Support is always evident amazing. Thank you for joining me on one of the final episodes of Star Wars Adventures. Next time, we'll finally save Dinosaur Planet once and for all and end this amazing game. I'll see you then. Just exciting out.